Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Air Force Delta Strike with Fluvial. Um, yeah, we're just going to get ready to hop into the next mission. So now we'll do this one. This is just a mission with uh, the first element, so oh. we get to see what they're all about. If it isn't Jamie, you haven't been around for a while. And also because... Uh, Oh. Basically, I don't have to worry about choosing Ken in Your these missions. Hasn't been around. Well, whatever. Another one of those missions only we can do, right? You got it. You old coots are the only ones that can handle this. Just let me hear the details. Amelia, read us our orders. Yes, ma'am. Delta Squadron First Element is to be dispatched immediately. Escort the train escaping from Area NB-53 to our territory. That is all. A train? You want us to escort a train? Would we look like the cavalry? <laughs> Please, Rick. The lives of a lot of officers, soldiers, and civilians are hanging in the balance here. Amelia, let's hear the sit -back. The Army has temporarily seized the Ariana Railroad to move survivors and civilians out of the ruins of Area NB-53. So it's an evacuation train? Or is it a refugee train? Almost all military units have been relocated, and the next train should be the last. However, Area NB-53 is already under enemy control. It's a pretty good bet the enemy will be targeting this one. It's an extremely dangerous situation. Commodore Martin and the Mayor of Lugert have been directing the operation and should be on the last train. Can't let the enemy attack a train full of big shots, I guess. So you want us to be the escorts, eh? Yes. I mean, you have a prop plane, and Lieutenant Levine has a veto. You're perfect for the job. But my plane can't fly slow enough to cover a train. All right. Let Lieutenant Campbell fly on ahead as an outrider. Sending the first element out there gives us the greatest chance of success. You guys are it, I'm afraid. Oh, man. <laughs> we can't let those passengers get slaughtered like sheep. Especially not the big ones. Do a good job out there. Roger that, Princess. Now head out and escort that last train out of Area NB-53. We're counting on you. Right, let's get going. All right, just take a moment to appreciate Rick's uh, poetry. He's like, oh no. All right, so. I'm gonna go with Alex Levine. Wait, actually, I... yeah, but for a second, take a look at Jamie's aircraft. He's literally flying World War II era prop planes, P-38. There it is, but I'm gonna go with uh, Alex because he's got a VTOL. Which is funny, because this aircraft here, it, it's its a prototype of an SU-15. But it's not actually a VTOL aircraft in real life. It, it has lift jets on it, but it was meant for, uh... It was meant for, to, like, um... Why can't I finish my sentence? It was meant for shorter takeoff and landing. But hey, whatever. It also happens to be VTOL in this game. So screw it. I don't know, but we can't allow them to remain. No man. What is the bandit heading? Bringing it up now. It's I kind of like the look of the SU15. I wonder if I'm in the minority for that. Could be a problem. We are dragged to run into them. Shall we take them out? Enemy affirmative. Roger. All Anaconda units. Oh. Ow, that hit me. Watch your altitude. 
Luckily this oh it took two misses. Son of a bitch. Just getting screwed over by these guys. So lately, I'll be honest, I've been starting to draw again. I've got like some ideas for comics that I want to make, but I'm not entirely used to a drawing. Uh, look at Rick zoom off ahead. But yeah, I'm not used to uh, drawing people. So I'm just practicing, get trying to get better, designing characters and stuff. It's fun though, I'm addicted to it. I got a tablet. It's really fun to use once you get the hang of it. Like when I first got it, it was really awkward for me to use. Oh, I got hit by another missile, damn it. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's fun. I enjoy doing it. Hopefully I can get a, like a comic off the ground. I'm just trying to practice and like come up with character concepts and hoping eventually I'll get good enough at it that, uh, you know, I'll be drawing these characters out of muscle memory. I don't really feel like going back to base. So I'm just gonna suck it up, suck up with this health. Should be okay. I don't recall there being anything that has missiles in this level. Alright. Here we go. Now allow me to demonstrate how the VTOL mechanic works in this game. Basically all you gotta do is pop the air brake and it'll be hovering. Uh, I'm just gonna try to get into a good spot for this. There we go, we're hovering. <laughs> Oh crap, there's one behind too. Crap, crap, crap. Where are you? Oh no, one of the pieces died. It's only minor, it's like a component. A rear car has gone off. Alright, well, crisis averted. <laughs> I was panicking a little bit there. I forgot one spawns in the back. Oh my god, that voice acting. <laughs> Let's try not to get too far away from this train because in case something else comes from behind. Don't you dare. Feels good. Uh oh. All right, let's go. Yeah, I don't think anything comes from behind right now. I'm gonna fly through this tunnel. Enemy in radar range. It's just a rock. We want to get this over with as quickly as possible. Well, I guess it worked. Uh oh. Oh, right, then there's some fucking VTOL aircraft here. Forgot about those. I really did. 
We better get moving before they lob missiles in my ass. You guys think you're sneaky, but you sure as hell. Oh, the fuck! It didn't hit him. God damn it! Oh fuck! Oh. Damn it! I panicked there a little bit. Poop myself a little too. Oh crap! He's firing this one. No, don't die from that shit. Alright, well, these are the last fuckers left. Let's go. Let's go and take them out. <laughs> I'm drenched in a cold sweat over here. I can't even slow down when I need to. <laughs> it's a hit. Oh, this, this aircraft I'm flying doesn't have a gun, unfortunately. I'll take these guys out and I'll fly on back. Man, the mayor just has like that stereotypical like hoity toity voice. <laughs> Yay, whoop. Damn right. Damn, damn Skippy that were r right. And now we fly back to the airbase. And go to debriefing. Nice work, Jamie, Rick, Alex. You did well, too. I totally did the inflection wrong on that one. That was a pain in the ass job. Can't you give us something easier? Some missions we can just breeze through? If you want that type of work, you'll have to start flying normal planes. And that goes for all three of you. Oh, come on, Rick is the best one, best one to fit in. Now come on, princess. Real men fly prop fighters, don't you know? There's nothing like being that close to the clouds. What are you babbling about? Mankind has a mission, and it's to test the limits of physical speed. <laughs> speed is everything. And what's the best airborne fighting strategy? Hit and run, of course. <laughs> what a waste of precious fuel. The environment group, the environmental groups would have your head on a platter. Why, you? You're asking for it, Jamie. Yeah, you bet I am. Well, with those two aside, I was wondering if I could fly a standard plane. I wouldn't mind. No, that won't work either. You're the only one in this squadron that can pilot a VTOL. So that's why we need you to do... Oh man, some of the writing in this is actually pretty bad. <laughs> Didn't realize how bad the translation is. So that means I'll be in this element for quite a while, right? Yeah. You're the only one that can work with Jamie, you know? Gotcha. Well, I gotta take what I can get. And I don't mind anyway. Er, shouldn't somebody stop them? Nah, they won't hurt each other. That may be so, but... You wouldn't believe it, but deep down, they're good friends. Well, it's about time for me to get some rest. Alright, good night, then. You'd think this war was a jolly party from the way these this element acts. Yeah, no kidding. Alright, new planes. And I'll just show it to you. It's a Yak-38. Unfortunately, it's a piece of shit. Okay, well anyways, uh, how about we move on to the next mission?
I see you're all here. Ilya, tell us what's going on. Yes, sir. One of our agents reports enemy ships congregating at Port Erythrae. I'll get approval later, but right now, these are my orders. Second element will scramble immediately. Attack the hostile ships gathering at Port Erythrae. Gathering? So they must be planning an attack somewhere. That's obvious. You need to calm down, Brian. Say they were planning another sneak attack. You think they just sit around waiting for someone to show up? But all other friendlies in the area are busy resupplying. I don't think we can plan a campaign right now. That's why Delta's going in alone, of course. Oh boy. <laughs> what? Just us? That's right. I calculate that it will take at least six minutes for the enemy to get ready for a counterattack. All you have to do is take out their ships before them. Yeah, well, too bad it's going to take more than six minutes to get in their planes and take off. Did you not think about that, Lilia? God damn it. You've got to be kidding. Our three jets can't do a thing in six minutes. We won't even be able to put a dent in them. Brian. I don't really care what you think. You're a soldier, damn it. And soldiers fight to live and live to fight. She's right. Let's go, Brian. Roger. A word of warning. If their interceptors get in the air, it's all over. So get in and out before the six minutes are up, okay? Roger. Now get to Port Erythrae and blow their fleet out of the water. Whatever you do, don't let them counterattack. Dismissed. Alright, so I'm going to use Hol Holst. But unfortunately for Holst, he's, he flies the thud. <laughs> the F-105 Thunder Chief, or the, um... In an aircraft that suffered a lot of combat losses in the Vietnam War. But it's better than the alternative, because fucking Brian's plane doesn't even have uh, afterburners. He flies an A7 Corsair. And I at least need afterburners to be able to avoid missiles. Radar signal ahead. A destroyer and a battleship. Even a major can read it wrong sometimes. Reports do not indicate marine vessels here at this time, but... They're right here. Continue as fragged or divert. Nomad to all units. A little mid-mission bonus. Eliminate all marine vessels and continue with mission. All units disperse and move to engage. A high-power concentrated attack. Just the way... Alright, so yeah, just a quick little mission to Wizards take out, to um... The vessels have strong some ships. Air defense capability. Avoid direct approach. Oh, those guns will chew you up. Oh, that was rough. Oh, well, I got them all out. Okay, I wonder if that's enough money to buy a special weapon. I'm going to go and find out. Because we're going to go back for repairs, reloading, and hopefully for some ground missiles. Oh, I can afford it! And only because I took out the last target with a gun. Nice. Alright. This will make the mission a little more tolerable. But this mission is rough. Because these ships will just lob missiles at you like crazy. Oh, well, I'll do my best to survive.
All right, well, there is an insane amount. There's an insane amount of ships in this level. I don't even think it's possible to take them all out in six minutes. Uh, that's okay. Because all we have to do is just... Oh, it's Giuseppe. I forgot he was here. But yeah, the, the goal is just to take out as much as you can and survive. Thunder Chief, the thud is so sluggish in a turn. Uh oh. Oh, I'm surprised that did not hit me. Let's try to take Giuseppe. I think he's flying in an SC-25 right now. <laughs> Not really a dogfight aircraft. Uh -oh. Alright, um... At some point, these ships start to fire missiles at you, and they're pretty damn hard to dodge. Oh, yeah. It's already started. Um, yeah, so... These bastards got lots of missiles to work with. Follow orders. That's the only thing that'll keep you alive. The trick is just to do our best. Destruction of enemy missile by two. Confirm. Fox two. How did they get this close? Two forty remaining. Four minutes. I noticed like at least for me, the second element tends to get the hardest missions. Destruction of enemy vessel by Cobra One. Like this fucking mission and the iceberg mission. Oh, kind of surprised that didn't hit me. But yeah, you know, it's all it's all good. It's all cool and dandy and space dandy. God damn it. I think half the reason why these missiles are so hard to dodge in this level is because the Thunder Chief sucks. Seriously, this plane is rough. Its only redeeming quality is it's got any round missiles. Oh well. Oh. Yeah, it seems like they just send a barrage of missiles at you. Alright. Ah, crap. That one hit. That one also hit. Damn it. Fuck my life. You just need to keep your momentum up and you should be okay to avoid the missiles. Still not a fan of them though. <laughs> Not a fan at all. Alright, 
I'm fine. I'm so good right now. Just ecstatic. Static electricity. Alright, I'm out of ground missiles. Well, it doesn't help that they can get a log on you before... Before you can get a log on them, goddamn. <laughs> on another note, this city's really cool. The bridge is cool and stuff. Feels very Ace Combat inspired. Like Anchorhead Bay or... Uh, whatever that place... Uh, Invincible Fleet takes place in from Maze Combat 4. Uh -oh. ah, suck my ass. You can't hit me, bitch. Alright. Well, we did a decent amount of damage. Such a bizarre mission, though. All right. And on to the debriefing. Ha <laughs> man, that was great. Did you see how Brian calm down? Will you? But we just sank enemy ships, and not just any old transports either. Battleships! It was so awesome! Brian. Pedro. That's enough. Oh, hey, lead. Brian. Yes, sir? I agree today was a, su a success. We sank enemy ships, and we made it back alive. It's natural to be excited about that. You said it. But you can't just forget everything and go wild you got to sit down and reflect review review everything that happened reflect on what like how you were zipping around out there not giving a damn thought to the rest of your element wait like how you were zipping around out there not giving a damn thought to the rest of your element all right Pedro but you're too easy on him lead he could have gotten us all killed today he still doesn't even have the basics down. Excuse me? I know what I'm doing. Then what the hell was that today? I was using my best judgment and taking action I thought met the situation. It worked, didn't it? Judgment? What the hell kind of judgment did he use? Knock it off, both of you. Oh. Yes, sir. Brian, don't let yourself get cocky. It's okay to be pleased, but don't don't let it go to your head. That could get you killed. And Pedro, we were greenhorn greenhorns once ourselves. Try to remember what that was like when you when you deal with Brian. Got it? Got that? Man, I'm just tripping all over my words, just falling down the stairs and breaking my back. Have you got that? Yes, sir. All right, you can go now. Don't worry about writing up the report. I'll do that. Yes, sir. Sir. Pedro and Brian. What am I going to do with those two? All right, so that will be this episode of Let's Play Air Force Delta Strike with Fluvial. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.